Hey guys, it's Sharon with Little Britain Company. And um, if you haven't seen a lot of me lately, I wanted to tell you why. Uh, before I get into the haul, I do have a bit of a Dollar Tree haul and then I have some great clearance items from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby is still rocking out some clearance stuff, so that makes me pretty happy. Um, so the reason you haven't seen a lot of me is because that last Dollar Tree video, which was just under an hour, has now taken five days to load into YouTube. I have no explanation for it. It's driving me crazy. As of this filming, it still hasn't fully loaded. And I kept waiting and waiting and I'm like, okay, let me get this one done. Let me get this one loaded because you actually kind of load them and you set them up to be seen in an order so then I can load more. And it just, it's a do you thing. I've tried unloading it, I've tried reloading it, I've tried. YouTube, if you're listening, we have an issue. <laughs> Hopefully, right now, it's pretty close, so hopefully, knock on wood, I'm going to get that out to you. And then I have some other videos I really wanted to get out to you. I've got the cute little um, uh, DIY, uh, sort of tweaking and changing those cute little bunny baskets from Dollar Tree. I want to show you that. I've got that one ready to go. It's all... Um, so that one's going to come out before this one, quite frankly, because I filmed that one. And then I, I can't, you know, I, the, they just haven't been loading. So I don't know what it is. I know it's not our Wi-Fi. We ch we've checked that. Um, anyway, hopefully this will all be fixed pretty quickly. And all of a sudden you all are going to just get like a pile of new videos from me. And um, in the meantime, I'm just going to keep making them. And hopefully you'll be able to see them at some point. In time. Otherwise, I'm just talking to myself and I'll miss you all. Okay, let me get into my little Dollar Tree haul. It is not a lot. I went to Dollar Tree. I knew, um, I was actually looking to see, so if you saw the, if the I'm going to have to keep prefacing. If you saw the last uh, Dollar Tree video, I had found those amazing um, bowls and, uh, and the smaller plates. Um, those little ones, which we often think are like salad plates, dessert type size. I mean, they're smaller. I actually use those as dinner plates for me. Um, and my husband now does sometimes too, just because okay, I got this hair. So, um, just because it helps me limit my portions. It makes my portions make more sense to me. Uh, there's just so much you can put on those little plates and I think it just helps for me. It does. Um, so I went back to see if they had the bigger plates because I would certainly like to have this sort more of a set. Um, but I still haven't found the bigger plates. I know some people have. Um, I'm just going to keep there. Still, plenty of the dessert plate of of the uh, the salad. There's more salad plates of the salad plates and the bowls. All the different kinds of bowls. There's like still plenty of them. I think people haven't discovered that they're at this Dollar Tree, but they will eventually. Um, my earrings today. These are Timu earrings. They're really cute. I was wearing navy today. Um, it is actually a Tuesday, and it's a little bit early. Normally, I wouldn't be home this early because I do coaching after school. So, um, but Little Brick got sick. His birthday is the com this coming Monday, April 1st. Today is March 26th, so I am really hoping that he's not sick on his birthday. We have this big party planned. We're taking him and some of his friends to Great Whip Lodge, and it's very exciting. So he had a fever at school. So you hit a fever, you got to go home. Um, anyway, that's why I'm home earlier on a Tuesday. But I got this this weekend um, and I want to show you what I picked out. I did find some really fun things and some name brand items. Um, so let me just show you, show you. Shall I actually show you? <laughs> I could just keep talking. No, let's not do that. Um, I found the Reynolds cookie sheets and I was really excited to find these. Reynolds is such a good brand. I mean, it's, it was always my, you know, my mom's brand and you get, you know, kind of this nice, um, these are folded in half and they've got grids on them. And I will tell you, I think what's kind of fun about that is the grids. And I think there's only like four sheets in here. There are four or six. 
one more. One, two, three, four, five. There's only five. It probably says on the front. Yep, it just says five. Um, I like the quality of these, and uh, and I like the grids because I really want to try my hand at making macaroons, um, and uh, because I love them, I love love them. Gracious, um, but I really want to try my hand at that, and uh, and so this would be I think be helpful in in getting those dimensions down better. So because they can spread. Um, I also found this one, this, um, the Prang, uh, this is for fabric. And I thought summer's coming and I have some different activities going on. I had seen these once before there and I had not picked them up and they disappeared really quickly. So when I saw this batch, I was like, let me go ahead and get that. Let me just pick that one up. I think it'll be fun. It would be, you know, kind of a fun activity and you get to really be specific and draw on there so I'm gonna open this up you get yellow very bright yellow these are very neony pink oh that's nice red red this nice little forest green looks like it's gonna be a royal blue and black um, so um I'm hopeful that these are gonna be kind of really nice Prang's a good brand I did find, in the past, I have found some of the Prang uh, colored pencils, but they come and go fast. If you see them, get them. They won't be there when you go back. Just like these weren't there when I went back. I think this, I don't know where this one came from. It's like somebody found it. I found one sitting on like the top of a shelf. And I think that my guess is it had been kicked around on the floor or something. And somebody was like, oh, let's put this back out. Let me put my seat away. Um, I, this is actually for little Brit because, uh, he has notes that he needs to attach into some of his notebooks. And I thought this little one would work really well because the teacher doesn't always, doesn't always have the, the stapler, you know, you've got 36 kids who need the stapler. That's hard to get to. So he needs his own little one. So that was a good one. Oh, these are just for him. This is one of his absolute favorites. It's a really good brand, the, sound, the really good one, the Sour Noodles. It's by a company called Just Sweet um, out of Boca Raton, Florida, but he loves these. So when I see them, I do pick them up. I mean, he, he doesn't actually eat a whole lot of sweets, so I can pick those up and they'll last him a while. They'll last him a while. Um, I also picked up this red stapler. This is still for Little Brit. Red's his favorite color. It always has been, uh, which is kind of interesting. He doesn't, you know, he hasn't really switched around. Red's been his favorite for a long time, but I picked this one up to go on his desk upstairs. So he has one on his desk in the bedroom and that little one is just to carry around with him. And then I found these Promark's um, highlighters. These are, um, Promark's is a registered tra trademark of Kittrich, Kittrich. Yeah, Kittrich. My mouth is not forming those. Um, anyway, corporation. Um, so I've seen Promarks. Now, Promarks also can be branded under Greenbrier. These are not. So these are not a Greenbrier brand, um, which is interesting because I did find like marker, um, the markers, pens, and I think maybe pencils, but I know for sure pens that were Promarks, um, but not these which is interesting. So these are more name brand. And then this one, of course, had the two yellow at the top, two yellow, pink and orange, two yellow, orange and blue. So I grabbed that. I can always use those and my students can always use those or go through stuff like you would not believe. Um, okay, then I was very excited to find this because I had seen this on someone else's channel. They had, they had seen it when they were walking around. And you all know that I do drink coke my cherry coke um but i found the popcorn bucket which i thought was super fun just just a fun thing um to have so i got the popcorn bucket and then i found the coke glasses these are so cute they are so cute these are not recommended for use in the microwave or dishwasher so they are not dishwasher safe um, but I don't think that they are a Greenbrier. I'm not seeing any Greenbrier branding on these. 
So those do our Coca-Cola. And then I found these. These were, this kind of cup was very popular when I was younger. I don't know if it's still popular now. Um, but again, I really liked the Coke stuff. So I went ahead and picked up sort of a set, just two of each. They had tons. They had tons. I would love it if I could find, um, if you saw the Batman tent. I got this in one of my last ones. This Batman tin. And we're not necessarily really big Batman fans. But if I found this in Coke, I would probably lose my mind. And go nutty. Um, no, I wouldn't. I'm really being... See, the, see, everything's good. I'm trying to control this so I don't, you know, cover my table again. This is for school. So you might wonder why I need... 70% isopropyl alcohol for school. Um, well, I work as a, an instructional technology facilitator, which me and a media coordinator, and I wear many hats. I run our social media and I do. Um, so I wear a lot of hats at school. Uh, one of them is that when the kids' computers, we have one-on-one -on -one computers, when, when something happens with their computer, they bring it to me. I assess it, decide whether it's fixable, whether it's, you know, well, whether I can fix it right there or whether it's broken. If it's broken, they we I switch it out for a new one. Well, the new ones are other ones that have been fixed, but often they don't get cleaned before they come back to me. So I will take them and make sure that the kids have a clean computer. And so if you want to know how to clean your computer, you actually put this into like the all parts of your computer. Put this into a spray bottle. Make sure you put, put it into a spray bottle. Take a, a nice um, cloth, like a washcloth. Spray a couple of spritzes of this on a washcloth and use that to go over the surfaces of your computer. And it will, it'll get it clean, it'll get rid of any, you know, um, germs that might be on it. That's how you clean these, and that, and it's a cheap, you can buy the expensive stuff, but it, it won't make any difference. This stuff works just as well, and that's how I keep our computers clean, and I don't give the kids something nasty that someone, you know, you just would not believe how some of these computers look when the kids are done with them. They're teenagers. They're teenagers, and you know, I'm just going to say they're teenagers. If you have, if you've ever had a teenager, if you have a teenager right now, if you have someone coming up to a teenager, you know what I mean. Um, okay. So then, so a little handy tip there. Um, then I saw these and I think I've seen these in the past there, but I haven't seen these in a really long time. These are the ones that open like this. They've got the hinge opening. It's not always my favorite, but it, what it does mean is I'm not going to take the tops off and leave them somewhere. I just picked up four of those uh, because I think they're a good size for certain things. Um, I have a lot of beads going on right now, and I have, a, I, in particular, I was thinking I needed, pardon me, um, I needed something for a lot of the flashcards that I have that work with my junk journals, and so these could handle just a lot of different things. They're just kind of a nice size, and they'll stack. So, you know, I definitely need things that will stack or will go into some spaces that are not huge. So those are perfect. Um, those are not food safe, I don't think. There's nothing on them that tells me that they are, and so I'm going to go with no. But they're perfect for in here, for me, for organizational bits and pieces. Um, I've got that big show coming up. I really hope it's going to be a big show coming up at the end of April, so I'm you know, I'm finally getting back in the swing for getting things ready for the show. Um, that will be my first one, and then I should have, um, I'm hoping like once, one a month is sort of my approximation. I don't want to do shows every week. Sorry, my nose itches. <laughs> um, one, so one a month is probably, you know, maybe in, in the, when we get close to Christmas and Thanksgiving, then I speed up. Uh, then, I, then I'll do, you know, a few. Those are the big months. Okay, and I want to show, sorry, you got hair. Do you all ever have like a hair that just, it's sitting somewhere you can feel that single hair drive you crazy? Probably not. You're probably like, no, Sharon, it's just you and your nuts. That's probably true. <laughs> okay, so I had seen someone talking about and looking at these different wall art that was coming in. I did not find some of the really pretty ones 
there were some beach ones that I saw her looking at and I just thought, oh my gosh, those are just gorgeous. I love those. Let me, you know, let me see if I can find some of those because I, I have a plan. So I've been making some different things from Dollar Tree. I've had some of that stuff in the past um, and you're beginning, to, you're beginning to see it, which is great. Um, so we did the, the tote. Um, by the time this one comes out, the little Easter um, bunnies, I don't know, they may or may not, it just depends on how long this one takes to load. I'm praying that it doesn't take long. Anyway, and I think this one's gonna be my next one to come out uh, because it's spring. So these are beautiful. They, I'm gonna take it out of this because you're getting reflection. Let me get it out of this bag and really show you. So I went to my Dollar Tree. I only went to one. I didn't want to go Dollar Tree hopping. And I wanted to see what they had that was in these really pretty designs. And you can see on the back, it's stapled in. This is um, canvasy. This is nice and heavy duty. Are y'all seeing where I'm going? So I got two of those. And then I had a really hard time finding matching pieces that I liked. Really hard time. Um, I found that one, which I do like. And then I found these. I'm going to show these to you again. Then I found these. These are not, these are not exactly the same, but they're so similar. I thought these would be perfect. Uh, because they are kind of a matching set. So my plan is to take them off of the, I'm going to take them off of this frame and I'm going to use these as material. And I am going to turn these into um, either small, like my small lunch boxes, or maybe some small totes, or very possibly some of the taller zipper bags. But that's my plan with these. I just think that um, I loved this one and I'd be okay making this one a little bit smaller. I could get rid of the Hello Spring and keep just my um, my really pretty uh, uh, bird here. Um, so anyway, that's my plan for these. Um, I will probably do one. So when I did the... Um, the bunny bag, which I actually do love. I've been taking it to and from school. Uh, when I did the bunny bag, sorry for the crinkle, um, I did the, the whole thing beginning to end with you, you know, on camera. Um, so with these next ones, I'm going to do the mock-ups ahead of time so that it's just a little bit smoother and you all can just see what it should look like instead of as I'm doing it. So um, anyway, I'm super excited about trying these. I really, really am. I don't know. I can't tell you how excited I am. Um, because this, uh, even at $1.25, I think that, that uh, this could be a really, really cute option. Um, so we'll see how much additional material I have. I think it's going to be, I think it's going to give me an extra inch of material, if not a little bit more, going around this. So we'll see how that plays out. So that is everything from Dollar Tree, but I did oh, hit Hobby Lobby. I went back to Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby is still doing some amazing deals. I mean, really amazing deals. Um, so I wanted to show you all what I got. Most of this is going to go into the stocking for next year. Um, so this is not going to be for us. And we have these big giant plastic sealed containers that we store up, that we store in our attic. Um, when I find great deals, they just go straight in there. So this isn't, you know, living in our space. This goes, you know, like a lot of the books that you see me, um, haul from Dollar Tree. I'll show, I'll do the back of them. One or two, I'm some might keep. Most of those goes and goes. Most of those go into the stocking and they, my husband just takes them right upstairs, puts them into one of the boxes and then they'll come back out December of next year, December of this year. So look at this. I thought this was awesome. This was on clearance for, let's see, originally it was $7.99. I can't read that. I think it was 
it might have been three ninety nine. It might have just been half price, but I thought for half price that was a really good deal. This paint by numbers is just really sweet, uh, and I thought you know my my family's very crafty, everybody, um, so I thought that that would be enjoyed by somebody. Um, and then this one, oh, they were a dollar ninety nine. That was a dollar ninety nine, and then this one was also originally $7.99 down to $1.99. I just can't know. No, I got to get it. Um, again, I know that the you know, members of my family will enjoy that. Paint by numbers. How could you not enjoy that? I was super excited to find this one. This was original. I don't know if I can find an original price on this one. Okay, I can't find the original price on this one, but it was down to $1.12, which I know is quite a deal. These are the sheets. These are the sheets that you can do. Um, the project includes one pre-printed board, a scraper, and a practice piece. So you can, I believe, do anything you want. I mean, you've got your scraper here, and you've got your, basically it's just a medium for you, like a painting or something. Um, this is probably going to go to our daughter, Ashley, because I don't know if she, this is something she still loves, but when she was younger, she loved this stuff, loved it. When she was little, this was just her thing and she's always just been such an amazing artist. I know I've said that before, but she really is. She's an amazing artist. So I did pick up two of those. Oh, it was originally $4.99 down to $1.12. Isn't that perfect? And these, um, so this is something you could make I think. I don't think it's already on there. Oh, this one does have a pre-printed board. So they are pre-printed. Yep. So you've got the pre-printed board, scraper, and practice piece. You know, I honestly don't know. It kind of looks to me like you could, because it's telling you how to make the different strokes, how to make it, because it says experiment with different techniques using to create fine lines and detail with the point of the tool and broader strokes using the side. Why would I need that if all I had to do was scrape it off and find that? So I think that this is something that you, you can make, but you don't have to, but I guess we'll find out. I think it's confusing. Um, okay. See, it's actually not as much as it looks like. <laughs> okay. I picked up this foam board. Um, this is 12 by 18. This was originally $1.49 down to 37 cents. And then this is a set. This was, uh, how many? This is a bunch of pieces. Two, four, six, eight, ten. This is like 12 pieces. Oh, does it say on there? Yeah, 12 pieces. I don't have to count. It says here right there. Um, so I picked up this one, which had originally been, see, so you can see all the colors. I'm moving it too quickly. Um, okay. This was originally $5.99 down to $2.99. So just half price. This one's better. Um, uh, but these are for making those, um, shaker cards. So I'm going to use that. I actually haven't used this in the past, but I'm going to try it because I've seen some people doing it. Let's see what else we got here. I just was very excited. I was so excited about that. Okay, so I do enjoy doing perler beads. I think that sometimes that's just relaxing. I don't have a lot of time for it, but sometimes we'll just pull them out. We have some nice ones and I'll just sit at the kitchen table and create a design. And then it's really cool. You know, once you create the design, it's like that, you know, just iron it. Um, this was $10.99 down to $2.74. Isn't that cute? So you've got um, Iron Man and, um, oh, I forget the raccoon's name. You've got, Cap I think this one's got Captain America. And um, that's got to be Ant-Man. Anyway, we are Marvel fans. So I just thought this was, this was kind of fun. This one was $9.99 down to $2.49. I couldn't say no to Yoda and Baby Yoda. I just, nope got to do it. So this one was really cute. Uh, Little Brit is not a giant Star Wars fan, but he is a very big Baby Yoda fan. 
We're not allowed to call him, I think you all have heard me say that before, we're not allowed to call him Grogu, which is apparently his name. It's Baby Yoda. So, there we go. <laughs> um, I found Scooby-Doo, $9.99 down to $2.49. I love that it's got the mystery machine, so... This is something we'll probably sit down together as a family and we'll each make one, you know, kind of ornaments for the tree for next year or something. Um, I, as I said, we actually have quite a few perler beads uh, because some, when I sit down with something, I'll, I often I'll make something big. Like I made this giant Santa. I need to show you all that sometime. Um, so well, I did pick up this uh, design book. This was $4.99 down to $2.49. So this one was only half price. But, let me get into it. Let me get into it so you can see what it looks like. Because you might still be able to find these. So, I can't show you everything in here because I'm, I worry that that would be a copyright infringement. Look how cute those are. This, the, the ones in the sand. There's a lot here. You've got the... All right, the fast food. So for $2.49, I thought that was a pretty good deal um, for the pattern block. And then, last but not least, so this one has 86 different designs. This one had 110. It was $6.99 down to $1.74, which I thought was interesting. So this one was more expensive to begin with and a lot less expensive on their clearance um, than the other one. So this one, I think, has a Mona Lisa in it. So let's see what's in this one. There we go. So let me grab a couple pages here. What do we have? Oh, is that, is that a birthday cake? No, strawberry shortcake, sorry. So they've got a strawberry shortcake. It looks like a birthday cake to me. Um, let's see, they've got your ABCs if you wanna do you know, letters, words, people. Um, they've got animals. This is really, really sweet. Oh, I like that. I like that tree. That's cute. Oh, and this one goes together in two pieces. Oh, look at that. So they've got that side and this side so that you put the two together and you have created something that's more three-dimensional. Actually, a lot of them are like that. Oh, look at the pirate ship. So this one's super cute. There's a lot of fun options in here. I like that. That one's cute. Okay, so that's all my perler stuff. I kind of it had been a long time since I bought any perler things. So I'm gonna I'm gonna justify. It. <laughs> okay, and then um, finally I went and found a few more clearance items. Let me put this here. Um, so I found these were not necessarily the best deals. But I found these dry erase markers, which I just use all the time. I still use them. We have, um, we do have the specialty. They're like TVs that you can type into and do things. But we still use dry erase markers. And I had I created dry erase tables in my steam area using. Um, there was like a dry erase. It's like this giant 70, 80 foot um, dry erase sheet that you unroll and sticky on the back. So I had put those down on my tables. So I'm always, you know, I always have dry erase for the kids to use. Anyway, these were $6.99. This was $3.49 down to $3.49. And I bought two of those. Can you, I think you all begin to see how much money teachers actually do spend on our students. Um, this was such a good deal. If they had had more of this, I would have bought more. Um, this was $2.99 down to $0.49. Cents. I don't know if it's all there because it doesn't really look like there's a lot on here. I'm going to peel this away and see how much should be on here because I think I wish they wouldn't cover up important information. No, it doesn't. Oh, it does on the bottom. It says two yards. So that, I mean, that might be two yards. I don't know. Um, but I, uh, I did want to get this, um, I just used cording for some different things and it was so cheap. Then, um, I found, I thought this was pretty. So this is just, um, kind of some fun duct tape. We use duct tape all the time. It was $1.49 down from $2.99. 
which is a great deal for duct tape, I gotta tell you, because we do use it all the time. And then I found, I bought two of these because they have the sunflower, which is my um, daughter-in-law's favorite. Um, and these were down to 74 cents, down from 2.99. That was an awesome deal. 74 cents, you cannot beat that. Um, this one was down to $1.49. And this, these have um, 10 yards. So I thought this is going to be perfect for something around Christmas time or around, you know, cold weather time. So I went ahead and grabbed that one. Kids are, I always have kids creating with duct tape just all the time where you can duct tape. And um, I did pick up some of these iridescent envelopes. They were down to $1.99. They originally were $7.99 for, I think it's, is it 20? 24. So you get 24 envelopes. Um, do I know what I'm doing? With, I don't. I'm going to put these with my junk journaling stuff. I don't have a specific use for them, but I thought that was a really good deal for these for two bucks. So um, I bought those. And then this is another. These were $4.99 down to $1.24. I just love the color. This one, I do plan on doing an envelope album with them. Um, and I think you all have seen, uh, I'll try to remember to link some of the past envelope albums that I've done. Oh, look at that. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I notice things cause I have to look at myself. It, anyway, um, what I just noticed was that now that I'm losing weight, my cleft chin is showing up more. Little Brit has a cleft chin too. Did you know that cleft chins actually are genetic? Who knew? My father had a bit of a cleft chin. That was, that's where we get it from. But um, So there. <laughs> Y'all know I go off on my little tangents. Okay. And the rest of this is for those um, summer um, kits that I'm making for people. So, you know, those fun activity kits for parents to, to get with their kids. So I picked up these really cute little um, wiggle eye puppets. Now, the back of the puppets does have a Valentine sentiment on it. So what I will probably do with these is, uh, because, I because I bought two of these on purpose, I will simply glue them together. So it's either way. Um, so you won't see the Valentine on the back side, and it gives me 16, and these were like 90% off, so these were 40 cents for each box. So I thought for that, you know, we're good. Um, this one has 32. I have not opened this yet. I want to see what these look like. Sometimes it's a hit or miss. I mean, you got to just risk it at times. So this one is the football games. It says Comets, Warriors, Tigers, Knights, Wildcats, Mustangs, Pirates, Dragons, eight different card designs, each with a different goal post. So let's see what these look like. Okay, so you've got this cute little goalpost piece, and it does indeed on the back of it say, this is your Valentine sentiment. So I'm going to have to figure that one out. I'm not sure at the moment. What I, what I will probably do is what I was thinking about doing with the other ones. I'll simply glue them together, and that brings my 32 down to 16. Um, but if I put them together, you're still going to be able to punch it out. And that's kind of nicer. Um, I will only glue together these two sections and then that will make the goal post stronger. So kind of a win-win. Um, and again, this one was a whopping 40 cents. So, um, and that does mean that I can make some because I have 24. So my goal is to make 24. So that means if I mix and match those a little bit, some will have one, some will have the other, and parents can kind of figure out which one works for their kids. And the the last one that I got, and again, was $3.99 down to, you know, 39 cents, um, were these, uh, these just etch. Remember, uh, this was similar to the other one. These, let's take a look at these. Again, you don't always know what you get. Giant box little thing. I just wish that they would do the small ones. I know that they think that people think, oh, it's got to be a big box for the price. But if we as consumers can get away with the idea, can, you know, can, can get past the idea that I need to see a giant box to 
to warrant the $3.99 price for the Valentines, we will save so much money and the environment by not having these big boxes. However, I'll reuse the boxes because they're plain white on the inside. So for, you know, that, that works for this one. Okay, so this one, let's take a look. I'm gonna open this up. I can get into it. I have to be careful because these actually will start to, um, you know, you can start to etch into them pretty easily. Um, all right, so this one also, because it's meant to be Valentine, has the Happy Valentines on the back. So I will simply just take um, like a piece of hard cardstock and I'll attach it to the cardstock. And that way, um, kids will have this cute little um, etching piece. And, uh, and they, you know, they won't see the, the Valentine on the back. And it does come with these. So I'll put those into like a little uh, singular something so they don't get messed up. Okay, that's it. So that was Dollar Tree and Hobby Lobby all together. Um, it's actually spread out. It does not look too bad. And the wonderful news is I have homes for everything. I love that. I love having homes ready for them to go to. Um, thanks for hanging out with me today. I hope you liked what you saw. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, ring the bell, and subscribe. So you can see the next things that we come out with. And particularly when I start, when I'm making some more of this stuff, hopefully it will not take so long. I'm going to have to see what's going on and why things are taking so long to load. But hopefully that'll start speeding up again so we won't have these problems. Okay. Cheers. Bye.